Oh. All right, Teddy Bridgewater is going to start for the impressive. Oh, there you go. Miami Dolphins. Um, hi, Mom. I always wanted to be a woman. Um, <laughs> on, Remember like what yeah. he said at the top of the show. Yes. He's been sipping on a little something. Yeah. It, listen, I, I don't know why they sell that stuff in gas stations, but they do. I bought that and some horny goat weed. So, look out. Um, I listen, that being said, uh, let's break it down here for a second. Okay. Uh, Two has got a concussion, mm -hmm. and now you have to worry about, you know, his life and all the other stuff. Mike McDaniel just had a quick comment about what he's been advised to do regarding Tua from the medical staff. Then we'll get into how it affects them on the field. Uh, he misused the term behoove, of course, there. Mm -hmm. um, outside of that, though, yeah, it, listen, it's real, you know, and it's kind of this, like, murky unknown about what are the ultimate ramifications going to be, and it's different. Like, you can't predict now what's going to happen to this kid uh, just health-wise moving forward. We've seen some guys go down a very bad path. Mm -hmm. um, we've seen other guys, you know, you know, bounce right back, and they don't have a problem for the rest of their lives. The concern, though, is all the attention, rightfully so, that's been paid to CTE, which you don't even know about till you're dead, unfortunately, is of primary concern because we've seen horror stories about guys who unknowingly had this, you know, it's not even a mental illness because it's a physical injury that leads them to mental illness, which leads them to making very bad life decisions. And I know that seems dark and murky and scary, but that's what you're worried about, that a young man who's got his whole life in front of him now is in a bad spot because of multiple concussions. So clearly they're going to do the right thing. Teddy Bridgewater will play this week. I'm assuming even if they win and their playoff hopes are still alive, he will close out the season, and we will not see Tua again this year. And while it's very tough sometimes to divide the human aspect of it from the team aspect of it, you know, you do have to talk about the impact it has on the Dolphins. So let's start short term. Two games left. If they win them both, they're playing postseason ball. Can they win them? Or is this a death knell for the Dolphins this year? No, I think they can win them. And before I even go into that, I, d I just want to give credit where credit is due to the Miami Dolphins for taking this approach because when they didn't early in the season, we were all over them yeah. for, not, for mishandling it. So credit to them. Um, but the Miami Dolphins can still win. They have the best quarterback. I said this yesterday. They have the best quarterback left. And when you think about the Jets and Mike White, when you think about the New England Patriots and Mac Jones and the Dolphins and Teddy Bridgewater, they have the better of the three quarterbacks no argument for that me. can fight and uh, rally to get that seventh seed. And the better of the weapons. You have Tyreek Hill, Waddle. You have a really good running game. You have a really good defense when they do decide to play well. Like, Teddy Bridgewater has played in four games, but he's only started one. And he got knocked out of that one the game. Yeah. The yeah. Jet game. Like, he, he's... And you could make the argument, because I know he did, he was fine. He was fine. But, but because of what had transpired exactly. with Tua, yep. they were cautious. And so, for me, there hasn't been a game where he's played and the game plan has been suitable to who he is and what he can provide best for that offense. Now that will be the case. I think we'll see a better Teddy Bridgewater than we've seen in his previous game. Yeah, look, it would, it's, I'm not going to pick them to win because they haven't won a game that Tua hasn't started this year. But if you told me that they went to New England and won, I mean, New England ain't that good, so it's not like I'm, you're going to Buffalo and winning or going to Kansas City or the Detroit. Like, you're going up against a team that has its own problem scoring, right? Correct. So if you told me that the Dolphins kind of rallied the troops this week and played a really good game and that Teddy played, <laughs> excuse me, <clears throat> a really good game, I buy that. I, I, they're not winning a Super Bowl this so, year. So is but it, I, I buy that they could win this week. So for me, like, again, I give Bill Belichick a lot of credit for who he's been and what he's been able to do with this team uh, and this roster, especially defensively. But I just don't buy the fact that even in this situation, the New England Patriots are better than the Miami Dolphins. I, even at home. Yeah. Because well, hey, Troy, what's the spread of that game, just out of curiosity? Uh, it is Patriots by three. Patriots, so it's, uh, it's a push, basically, because you get three for being at home. Yeah, I'm with you on that. You know, and by the way, the Jet game as well, as much as, you know, I want the Jets to win, I wouldn't say that the New York Jets go down to Miami with Mike White and blow the Dolphins out, because I don't think they will. So I think there is a possibility that a team that right now is in 
as the seventh seed, even with Teddy Bridgewater, who's not played a lot this year, that he could lead them kind of in a Nick Foles kind of manner. And I'm not saying Super Bowl. I'm saying by being competent. I think that is what the expectation should be. And, and, and that's what it has to be. Like, yeah. at this stage in the season, you can't – if you have a quarterback – this isn't – they're his, their starting quarterback. But if you can make the least amount of mistakes, why is New England in this situation? Because they've been having self-inflicted yeah. mistakes. New England doesn't scare you. They don't scare Jets you. Jets don't scare you. And so when you look at the Miami Dolphins, they did it last week against the Green Bay Packers. I mean, obviously Tua, now that we know what we know, he wasn't right for the second half of that game and or after the second quarter when he took that hit. But if you have a healthy Teddy Bridgewater, a scheme that fits him with those weapons – I, I trust Teddy more than I trust Mac Jones. All right. Well, the ball listen, we're going to see it this weekend, and it's going to be – it's like it's must-see TV because the playoff implications are so big. Hey there. Thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1, so check them out too.